The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. How are you doing? Very quickly, I want to teach you on how to know when it is God that is speaking to you. The three major means of hearing from God, which is the seeing, the vision, the hearing, and uh, the knowing. All these are connected to the prophetic mind. All right, the mind is the most busy part in the body of man, and yet it is the channel through which God speaks to his children. So it is one thing to have the prophetic mind is another thing to understand when you are receiving this message from god or it is your mind that is speaking okay that this is what i want to show you right now in one of the teachings i did on um understanding the voice of god when it is god speaking i told you that the voice will be as if it is coming from behind though in the mind but it's as if it's coming from behind and that have helped a lot of people a lot of prophetic people in their journey in accuracy and now i want to teach you this very very fast okay now in the book of esther you see i think it's esther chapter 6 the king the bible said and that night the king could not sleep that night the king could not sleep the king was not a prophet or a prophetic person but he received the message from god that he couldn't understand he doesn't understand how he heard it what he heard but he knew there was a message from god and he knew that that message is connected to the book of the chronicles so because he didn't understand what the message is he requested for the book of the chronicles and he discovered from there what the message was talking about is somebody hearing me now so the reason why he couldn't pick what it was was because he was not a prophet he was not a prophet but he was not trained so he received the message and all the only sign that came as a result of that message was troubling he was troubled he could not sleep he could not rest this is one of the significance of the voice of god anytime it is the voice of god or the message is accurate there's going to be troubling in your spirit you are going to feel uncomfortable you will feel troubled reason what is happening there is uh, what the, the, the romans chapter 8 verse 16 refer to as the spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are the sons of god the spirit is only bearing witness all right so your spirit knows what is true and what is accurate so by the time a message comes and the message is accurate your spirit is going to be agitated troubled troubled or until you understand the meaning or until you give it to the receiver or the person who the message is meant for the same thing happened to nebuchadnezzar when god revealed something in a dream he was troubled he knew that was accurate his spirit could not was unrest because that was a prophetic message it was an accurate message same thing happened to pharaoh when he dreamt he was he was restless in him because the message was you don't understand the message and you don't pass the message it's going to cause some kind of restlessness in you for a certain time there are some of you maybe you, you are walking somewhere somebody said something to you and you became restless something kept there is this restlessness that just rests upon you and that restlessness is coming with a doubt that what he said is is, is a lie and truly because that restlessness is to confirm that what the person have said is a lie and if it's true there was there was a restlessness that's also going to come with a kind of confirmation and knowing that in a particular line that is how to confirm another means of confirming the message that comes to you through your prophetic mind if it is from god or not so when it comes it's going to place on rest on you you will be restless you will be rest sometimes when god gives you a message until you carry it out that restlessness will be there all right when you look at the person again the same thing comes back you feel restless until you release the message so it's also a good medium to understanding when it is your mind or when it's god speaking to you god bless you